So we're putting in another rack. Uh, it's a very tight fit, but I'm going to get it in there. Um, so this will be another rack which will hide, hold all the fry. Um, there was going to be a sink in here instead. I've decided to shift the sink over to here. Give me more space. Um, and uh, it'll make the fish room look a lot better, I think, as well, having uh, complete tanks next to each other. Be easier for wiring, etc., and plumbing. So that's the plan. It's a tight fit, like I said. Should have given myself a little bit of leeway, but hey ho. I always like to make sure it's a tight fit, everything I do. So, uh, yeah, we'll get it in there. Well, my garage is really tidied up now. Um, built the fish rack. Uh, the fry rack now so that's all done uh, I will be putting the cupboard doors on both these lower low panels here just to hide all my fish equipment away uh, which I've got there let's make it look neat and tidy this canister here is going to be used for my RO water I plan to have discus in my office um, so I've got a tank all ready to go for that but and I've got the RO unit uh, but that will probably happen once I get the sink in here. So the sink's going to go in here eventually. Um, that's a little way off yet. I've got a few plans and a few expenses to go through first. But the plan will be to get a, a kitchen sink in here and a bit of a work workspace as well. So that works well because I've got a ladder in my garage here. And unfortunately the, the fry rack would just be in the wrong position. That's why I decided to put the fry rack here instead. Um, and to be honest, I think it will flow better. So, got to move the electrics as well because obviously there's going to be tanks here and water, so that uh, plug will be moved uh, and probably just uh, uh, blocked off. And also, got to have some uh, wiring done in the garage as well for the fish tank. So, I'll put putting this on its own separate circuit. I've now put cabinet doors on the underneath of these two racks which hide away all my fish stuff, makes it look a lot neater in here and tidier um, and obviously I've still got all my tanks in here so, which is great like that uh, there'll be another 125 underneath here which is the, currently the 125 that's in my office um, so that'll be moved down here and turned into a, um, a quarantine tank a, a grow out tank etc hospital tank, so it'll be standalone off the main system, so that's going to go in there. I'm thinking about uh, maybe putting some uh, flat lids above the tank, especially around the sump area, just to again just finish it off, make it look neat and tidy, and hide all the light fittings. Although they are going to be replaced with LED lights, um, but I, I think that will just finish it off a little bit. So I'm going to use some more of this cabinet um, that I've got, which is the old dual stands. I'll cut that down. Um, and probably hinge it on onto the above the tanks here. So that's something I'm thinking about doing. Maybe not straight away, but certainly something that uh, maybe come to in, in the future. You know, especially these lower tanks. I think it'll look really neat and tidy. Um, but I'm really pleased with it. I think it's really come along nicely. So in here, I've got my pump controller, which uh, so when I do my feed of my fish, I can uh, just press the feed button easily to open in the door and that uh, automatically shuts off for 10 minutes and then turns itself back on again. Um, I've also got the Raspberry Pi that controls everything including the pump as well uh, but that's just a quick way of me being able to do it and it's part of the pump system anyway.